go, go, go! Let's do this. Good morning. What's up, YouTube? How y'all doing out there today? And this is for like, you know, like new people that's that's coming out of truck driving school. You know, people that's thinking about going into truck driving and all that good stuff. And there's a lots and lots of information out there on the internet uh, pertaining to truck driving. I just want to give my little piece of information out there and uh let you guys figure it out for yourself now i always say that when you, when you you know i might be contradicting myself and i'm sorry if if i if i did you know before i always say never ask the recruiters about truck driving because most of them are there just to get you in the orientation they 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 talking to people that's really don't know what trucking is about you know see what they do is they give you the 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 happy go lucky cliff note you see the world you're making money you have your own independence and this that and the other but see what they don't tell you is you see the world which is true enough. I mean, you drive all 48 states if you go OTR. But what they don't tell you is the sorry part about it is that from shipper to receiver, time to get there, you got to make your appointment at truck stops and this and that and the other. You know, it's the, you know, they, they don't want to tell you the ugly side of trucking. You know what I'm saying? Where, you know, if you get break down on the side of the road, it's or if you in or if you up north or something like that and it's like snowing and you got to throw chains on your truck and all like that. See, they don't want to tell you the ugly stuff about trucking. So I guess this episode right here is just to introduce you guys to what I'm going to do or call myself doing or call myself helping some of you guys to ask some pivotal questions to these recruiters out here I got a list all right actually I had this list for a while you know because when I first came in I didn't have this when I first came in I I, I did what you guys did I basically listened to the to the recruiters telling me that this company is the best company to work for because you know you can do this that and the other with this company and this company will look out for you blah 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 and I, I you know of course, being a new driver, I was hooked. And I was like, cool, let me come on in. I, you know, wow. But then when, you know, after a while working there with the trainers, going through the problems with the trainers, uh, going through the problems with the uh, fleet managers and the fleet owners and all that stuff, I tend to learn a little bit more now than I did when I first came into the game give you guys a, a, a little knowledge on what to ask the recruiter so the way I'm going to start doing this is that I'm going to call a recruiters so crate carriers we're about to give you guys a call right now and see what you guys is all about crate carriers everybody <laughs> Carrier recruiting. This is Brianna. Um, the equipment that you guys have. Um, what what equipment do you guys have, and what amenities inside the equipment do you offer? All of our trucks are three years old or newer. The newer trucks do come with an inverter, but we can put one in for you if, for some reason, the truck you are assigned doesn't have one. Okay. Um, what about what about APUs? Yeah, they use the Opiatl. I'm sorry, they use the what? Opiatl, it's like a thermostat you use in your house. You just set it for what temperature you need, and then the truck will turn on and keep your truck cold or hot, depending on what you need. Okay, okay. 
Um, orientation, is it uh, paid for and what's the pay and how long is the orientation? Three days long, I'll pay you $170. For the hotels and stuff like that, way to get down there? Yes, of course. Okay, okay. Orientation, what's the uh, wait period for a trainer and how much experience do that trainer have? Uh, we can get you set up with the trainer right after orientation. Uh, what, um, All of our trainers have to have two years of driving experience and six months with us. Oh, okay. That's good. Okay. Okay. That's that's good. How long's the training time and what's the pay on that? It just depends on how much experience you have. Well, time out with the trainer can range anywhere from one to six weeks. We'll pay you $600 a week while you're out. The actual... What's the actual cent per mile that, let's say, an experienced driver would, would start off with? It depends on how long you're out and what fleet you choose. Uh, if you are wanting to go national three weeks out, uh, we would, uh, if you have about one to two years experience, we'd start at 46 cents a mile, okay? okay. If, you, if we can verify five years of over the road driving in the last five years, we could start you at 49 cents a mile. Okay. Now, what about... If you stay out for less time, that will affect how much cents per mile you get. Okay. Uh, what's the average miles per week that uh, that, 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 could, that a driver could get? If you're out for three weeks at a time, they average 2,700 to 2,900 miles a week. Oh, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, layover pay and detention pay? Yeah, if you're detained anything longer than two hours, we'll pay you twelve dollars an hour until you get rolling again. Okay. What about a layover pay? That's you know, if we don't get. You don't really use it. it. Yeah, we keep our drivers rolling. Oh, okay. That's. It is there, but we don't really. Get it. Okay. You guys offer, uh, of course, you guys offer benefits. So I'm assuming you guys offer medical, dental, vision, life, 401k. What about what about uh, what about other benefits like holiday pay and vacations? After a year, you'll get one week of vacation. There's no holiday pay. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, you guys offer a sign-on bonus? Nope. Okay. What about uh, what about re um, reimbursement for school? Nope. Okay. What what do you guys offer? Uh, like re uh, reefer division. Dedicated over the over the road tanker, um, flatbed, or just driving. Where you're at in Cleveland, I could have you hauling all 48 states, dry van, refrigerated or flatbed. We also have a Midwest regional, and we have a Northeast regional. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Midwest Holland, so the Holland dry van. Okay. Uh, Midwest Regional, would that be hauling a uh, reefer as well? No, the Midwest Regional is going to be hauling drive-in. Oh, drive-in? Okay. A rider or pets? We have a free rider policy. You can have two pets, either cat or dog. We'll dock your pay a half a cent per mile, and we will deduct $25 a paycheck to go towards your $750 pet deposit. Okay. <laughs> Do you guys have uh, cameras inside the trucks? Uh, some of our drivers, you know, our safety department does ask to have a, a dash cam in their truck, but oh. not all of the drivers. Okay, so is it one way or two way, inside or out, or is it just facing out? It does go both ways. It goes both ways. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, felons, like, how... How long do you guys need for a person with a felony to, to drop off? At least five to seven years. Okay, that's five to seven years without, I mean, when they drop off, or five to seven years would they need to be a felon? <laughs> Once all your probation, classes, and fines, and time served is done. Okay, okay, okay. Um... Can we take the trust home? Yes. Oh, okay. okay. You can go to CreteCarrierJobs.com and get an application in. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, Brianna, thank you for your... Brianna, right? 
thank you for your <laughs> thank you for your time today, ma'am. I really do appreciate it. I appreciate you too. Thanks. Bye bye. Bye bye. Crate carriers, everybody. Man, now if you guys think that I haven't hit all the questions, make sure you put your questions that you want me to, you know, ask the next uh carrier that I decide that I that I will call. Um let me know would you know if if you know I hit all the good you know hit all the good points. I think I did and I think this particular uh recruiter Brianna I think she hit I think she answered uh pretty good on all the questions that I have. They don't have uh they don't have a sign on bonus and they also don't have uh reimbursement till next time thanks for watching thanks for hanging out don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and uh i will get back at you guys next week with another episode of call the recruiter ask the recruiter whatever wh whatever just stay tuned for the next episode y'all thank you and peace Let's do this.